When people talk the same language, they can communicate with each other. But creating a special language as a doorway to your apps in form of an API or application programming interface makes your applications understandable on each place worldwide. But what exactly is an API? Let's make it simple. If you want to find out which team won last night or how is the weather going to be today, you couldn't care less about the process going on in the backend, right? But the programmers do care a lot and they make it happen. Almost every basic operation on your phone or laptop involves different software communicating with each other. That's why the programmers design systems ready to talk and interact with the environment of another system. The language needed for that communication is called an API, which is a part of the server that receives requests and sends responses. And now when we clear that up, let me share the great news. Now you can use the API key in the supply chain apps. Now today in this video, we will show you how to generate API key and how you can file your first request. API journey starts now. To follow the steps in this video, you should have a pro license of the supply chain add-in because with the free license feature is not supported. The first thing you should do is log in and then go to my account in settings. Here you can see your profile information. Whenever you like, you can change the preferences and in the products, you can also check your current license status. What we want to focus on now is the integration section. After clicking on it, the next step is to generate an API key. To use this feature, you need to accept our new terms and conditions, so after reading and confirming them, you continue to set the expiration date of the API key. This means whatever date you choose, until that date the API key is valid. The selected date is especially important for testing use cases. You can also pick a date very far in the future, like for example the year 2030. After clicking Generate, always make sure you copy the API key and save it on the safe place. After copying the API key, you will have here the new section where you will be informed of having a new API key with its expiration date until which it is valid. Have in mind that you will always have a chance to deactivate the key if you just click on Delete. But if you want to use now this API key and see the documentation, then click on the link See API Documentation. This link leads you to a section where you can see which kind of APIs are currently available. At this moment, you can choose among geocoding, reverse geocoding, distance calculation, reverse distance calculation, fixed center of gravity, and reverse fixed center of gravity. In this example, we will do a reverse distance calculation. We have already calculated some latitude and longitude, and based on this, we want to calculate the distances. The input is similar to the one you have in the Excel add-in, but here we talk about the API request. If you want to try it, the only thing you have to do first is adding the API key. To sign in, go on Authentication, and in this empty field, type first API key, make a space in between, and then paste the key you previously copied. Now, just click on Set. This moment, you can go back to the reverse distance calculation. The last step is just to click on Try. Congratulations! At this point, you will be sending your first API call. Now we calculated the distances, in this case from San Francisco to Huntington Beach, and in the response you get the results. Using the distance unit in kilometers, in the result we got the distance between these two locations of 609 kilometers. This is how you can use the integration and send your API call. The UL you have to use is written beside API server. When you come to Manage API Keys, you can also see here your last 50 requests. Total insights about the errors are also available right here, so you can debug it if needed. API shakes the IT world from the ground, as 90% of developers are using APIs and 83% of all internet traffic belongs to API-based services. Let's now sum up what are the advantages of an API key usage in the supply chain apps. First of all, thanks to the API keys, you can integrate lockup applications into your supply chain projects. You can also easily automate supply chain calculation steps. And last but not least, you can monitor and troubleshoot your integration status. I really hope you find these explanations very useful to learn how to get started with an API key in supply chain apps. When already mentioning in this video the distance calculation app, 
it would be very helpful for you to get full insights about its functionalities. And you can do that if watching this tutorial, how to calculate distances worldwide, where you can see on which way distance calculation and distance matrix app can help you calculate the targeted distances. As you can see, we're following the direction of the newest technology trends. That's why I strongly recommend you to subscribe to our channel and always be up to date with innovations and opportunities to transform your world of logistics. And now a little surprise for the end. Supply chain apps are expecting another update. The question is what that will be. And the answer is you will find out very soon. Stay tuned.